Hello and welcome to another lecture. In this lecture, we are going to look at some security best practices on how to protect our account and we'll cover this topic. We'll talk about the root account. We will create users, groups and assign policies to them. First, let's talk about the root account. When you create an AWS account, you provided an email and password credentials. If you log into your AWS account with those credentials, then you are logging into the root account. Please note that the root account has full access to all the resources in your account. With the root user credential, you can do anything in your AWS account. That is why you should not use the root account for your day-to-day -day administrative tasks. Instead, you should create users and groups in your AWS account and assign them the appropriate policy based on their role. Using our root user credential, now let's log into our AWS account. Under my management console, I'll click sign in to the console and we'll select the root user and enter your root user email and this will be the email you use to create the account. Click next and enter your password and click sign in. Now we are in our root account. Let's go to IAM service. Under service, security, identity and compliance, select IAM. To protect our root account, AWS recommend that we complete the security status in our new account. So we have activate MFA, create users, create groups and assign permissions and apply a strong password policy. In this video, we are going to be talking about how to create users and groups. First, let's look at how to create our users. Looking at this diagram, let's say this is our company. In our company, we have four employees, Mary, Kim, Mike, and Tom. And if you look, Mary is an administrator, Mike is an administrator, Kim works in sales, and Tom works in sales. So in AWS, this will be considered your users. So all these four employees are your users and you will create a profile for each of them. Let's do that in our AWS account. Come to the left side, select users, add user, and we'll enter our username. First, we'll create a user profile for Mary. And we can click this plus sign to add another user. So we can create all of them at once. We'll create one for Kim. We'll click the plus and create another one for Mike. Click again and Tom. And next, we are going to select which type of access we want to give them. We will select the AWS Management Console. And the AWS Management Console is when they use the user credential and password to sign in just the way we sign in under this root account. And down here, console password, we can auto-generate password or we can use custom password. We'll say custom password and enter our password. Normally, when we create these four users, we would require that they reset this password when they first log in. But since we are just using this as practice, I'm not going to require them. So I'll uncheck this. We'll click next to go to permission. And right now, we are not going to assign them to any groups and we just click next to tag and click next to review and click create users. And this is how you create a user. And once you create your user, make sure you download the CSV file and this CSV file contains their sign in credential. And this is the link they will use to access the account. So download the CSV file and also copy this link somewhere and click close. Now we have created all our users. We have Kim, Mary, Mike and Tom. By default, access to all AWS service in our account will be denied to these users. Our users will not be able to have access to any service in our account until we allow them. And what we use to allow them is called the policy. Before we cover policy, let's log in using one of these users and see if we have access to any AWS service. So let's come to the dashboard. This will be the sign in link for the user. Copy that link. And let's open a new incognito web browser and let's paste in that link and press enter. And now let's type in the name of our user, which is Kim. And let's type in our password and click sign in. We have now signed in into our AWS account with the user Kim. You can see Kim up here. And let's go to service and try to access any service. Let's click on EC2. Now let's try to launch a new EC2 instance. So just click on launch instance and select the AMI and you will see that it is saying you are not authorized to perform this operation. That's because in AWS, 
Access to any service is denied by default. You have to specifically allow your users to have access to the service. And in this case, we have not assigned the policy, which is what we use to give them access, which is why access is denied. Let's try the S3 service and see if we have access to that as well. So on that service, click S3. And you can see immediately it says error, access denied. And this is what I mean by access to any service is denied by default. So now let's minimize this and go back to our regular root user. And now let's talk about policy. Remember I said policies is what we use to grant access to AWS service to our users. And in the last example, we signed in with our user Kim and we saw that we couldn't access any service. Now let's go to the user again, select Kim. Under permission, we would add permissions, which is permission policy. See it over here, it says permissions policy, add permission. And we want to attach an existing policies directly to this user. So click this. For this user Kim that works in sales, we want to give uh, just S3 read only. So let's type in S3 read only. Once you type in S3 in here, you'll see the Amazon S3 read only access. Click that, click next to review and add permission. And we've now attached the S3 read only permission to this user, meaning that this user now will be able to access the S3 service, but is only going to be able to read files in there. Let's go back to the Cognito where we logged in as Kim and let's refresh. And soon as we refresh, you can see that Kim now have access to the S3 service. But remember, we only give our read only access. That is how the policy works. Policy is what you use to grant user access to service. Now let's talk about groups. Remember, we have four employees, Mary, Kim, Mike, and Tom. Mary and Mike are administrators. Kim and Tom works in sales. Think of a scenario where you have, let's say hundreds of employees, right? And 50 of them are administrators and 50 works in sales. In that case, you will create profile for all 50 employees in sales and all 50 employees in administrator, right? But it is tedious to assign policies to each individual in sales because they all have the same responsibilities. Think about even if you have thousands of employees and you have to each individually go in and assign policies to them individually. That will just take forever. So the way we work around that in AWS is with group. So since Kim and Tom works on that sales, we will create a group for sales and assign Tim and Tom to that group. Then we will attach the policies to the group. So any users we put in that group will automatically inherit that policy. So whatever permission that policy allows that group to do is what those users in that group will be able to do. So let's create groups. We'll create two groups, one for administrators and one for sales. Click groups. Click create new group. The first group is administrator. Click next step. Then we want to attach a policy for our administrator. So if there's a policy you want, these are all the policies that AWS has made. These are AWS managed policy and you can search any policy you want in here. But in our case, we want to give the administrator group administrator access. And we have that here. So just check this just in case if you, if you don't see it, you can search it in here. Select this and click next step and click create group. So we have our group, select the group by checking this, click on the drop down and click add users to group. And these are all the users in our account. And in this case, we want to add Mary and Mike to our administrator group because those are our two administrator and click add user. And that is how you create a group and add users to it. And we already had a attach permission to that group. And now Mary and Mike will have administrator access in our AWS account. Let's create another group. Click create new group and add your group name. We'll call it sales. Click next step. And for this group, we want to give them, remember Amazon S3 read only access. Select that. And if you don't see it, search it in here and select it. Click next step and click create group. And now we have our sales group. Remember the first two group. You can see the amount of users we have in it, which is two. But for the new sales group we just created, we have zero user in there. Again, select this sales group, come to group action, add users to group. 
And for this, we want to add Kim and Tom to that group and add user. And now we have two users in that group. And that is how you create users and group in AWS. And let's go back to our dashboard. Now those two are checked, meaning that we have fulfilled those requirements. And this is how you create users and group in your AWS account and assign policies to them. Another thing I want to mention is this is the link your users will use to sign in and you can also customize that link. So click customize and give it any name you want here that is easy for you to remember. I will call mine's AWS notes. Click yes, create. And you can see that number, which is our account number has changed to the AWS notes at this URL. And that is how you customize that. And this is the link your users will use to sign in. And thank you. I will stop this video here. In the next video, we are going to talk about how to activate the MFA for our account and also how to assign a strong password policy. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.